welcome back to my Thanksgiving vlog. Happy post Thanksgiving, because this video will probably go out the day after Thanksgiving. So last night I started preparing my pie crust for my pumpkin pie. You guys have already seen me prepare a pie crust in the past. But if you haven't, let's give you a quick little run through. First of all, I take two sticks of butter. I chop them up into little cubes. I then weigh my flour in my food processor along with some sugar, cinnamon, kosher salt. And then I add my butter to my flour, get my cold butter mixed into my flour, and then I dump it onto my pastry mat where I form it into one nice dough ball. And I then put it into plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge. And that's how you make pie crust. So I have an early Christmas gift that was just delivered. I'll show you guys what it is, which most of you guys probably already know what it is because you've seen it in my past vlog, but I'm going to put it together right now. And there you have it guys. Here's my ring light. Let me show you how it works. So there's an attachment here. You could actually attach your cell phone or you can attach your camera. And look how good the light is. Look how it brightens everything up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. All right, so that's with it on and that's with the lighting off. So yeah guys, this is supposed to enhance my production here on Life by Francesco. So stay tuned for some more ring lights enhanced videos. Anyways, it is a day before Thanksgiving. I already started preparing last night by making my pie crust. We actually did not purchase a Thanksgiving turkey. We actually purchased a turkey breast and we're gonna be cooking that in the pressure cooker. My first time trying this method of making a turkey and we've never really bought turkey breast before. We've only ever bought an, an actual turkey. So this is gonna be a new experience for us and to unlock your iPhone first. Siri, we were not even talking to you, girl. All right, guys, time to start rolling out my pie crust. So like I said, I made it last night and I've let it sit out on my counter for maybe like 15 minutes. It was in the fridge all night. So we're gonna flour our pastry mat, just like so. We'll also put a little flour on our actual pie crust, our pie dough. Now we're going to start the rolling out process. We're going to put some more flour. The last thing we want is for our dough to stick to our rolling pin. We don't want that. So I gotta say guys, one of the most frustrating parts about making your own pie crust at home is that the pie dough starts to crack and that's really frustrating. But if it does crack, you just put it back together and you pinch it together with your fingers like I keep doing and just keep going. Can't give up. Also, as you're rolling out your pie dough, you wanna be able to turn it because you don't want the pie dough to stick to your pastry mat. We also put a little bit more flour underneath. I'm still not a pro by any means. Every time that I make a pie crust, it's more practice for me, but the edges keep cracking on me and it's really frustrating me, but it always works out in the end. Okay, it's not super perfect, but it'll do. So I have my baking pan right here, my pie pan. Now I'm gonna try to roll my pastry dough onto my rolling pin like so. And then transfer it over. You know what? This has really frustrated me and I'm gonna start over because I don't like the way that it looks. It's probably not good for the pie dough because I'm putting too much flour into it, but I really did not like the way that it looks. All right, perfect. My second time around, it came out much, much better. I guess the pie dough may have still been a little bit too cold when I started rolling it out. It's very important to let your pie dough come at least a little bit to room temperature. Not too warm, but definitely not too cold. So now I'm gonna roll it back onto my rolling pin. Oh yeah, this is way better. We're gonna cut the excess off. So as you can see, I still need a little bit more practice on my pie dough, but it's okay. Every experience is a learning experience. As you can see, my edges didn't come out that nice right there. But anyways, this is it. 
It'll taste delicious, but it is homemade. So now I'm gonna stick this into the freezer and it's gonna be in there for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 degrees because I'm gonna blind bake this. Blind baking is basically when you're just baking your crust without a filling in it because for the pumpkin pie, for instance, if you're baking the pumpkin pie filling inside of the crust before it's baked, the pie crust tends to be a little bit soggy. By blind baking my pie crust, it bakes the crust a little bit and then it prevents it from becoming soggy once the filling goes in. And as always guys, I'm gonna leave all the recipes that I'm using down below. This particular recipe is from the YouTube channel Preppy Kitchen. I've been using a lot of his recipes lately. <sighs> Smells like the holidays in here. I just pulled the pie crust out of my oven. This is what it looks like. Can you guys see how it's starting to develop those golden brown edges? All right, so now that my pie crust is completely baked, I should have put the, my aluminum foil around the crust to protect the crust from browning a little too much. I don't think it's burnt. I'm gonna protect the crust while I'm baking the filling. Oops, sorry, that was my um, microwave. Now it's time to make my filling, my pumpkin pie filling. If you guys recall, I made my own fresh pumpkin puree a few vlogs ago, and if you haven't watched that vlog, I'll link it above. So I'm gonna add 15 ounces of my pumpkin puree to my saucepan. So basically we're gonna preheat this filling in the saucepan. It's supposed to make the pie filling a lot tastier, I guess. I don't know. It's my first time making this, so we shall see. Put a teaspoon and a half of my pumpkin pie spice, a little salt, and three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So we're now just gonna warm up our pumpkin pie filling here in our saucepan. In the meantime, I'm gonna whisk my milk and cream into my eggs. And as always guys, you know, I'm gonna put the recipe in the description down below so you guys can follow along if you want. So this recipe also gives you the option to add a little bit of bourbon and I figured I have bourbon, so why not add it to my filling? So here goes nothing, one. And two. We're also going to put a little egg wash on our pie crust by mixing a little heavy cream and an egg together. This is gonna make our pie crust golden brown. All right, so now it's time to drizzle my milk mixture into my pumpkin pie filling. All right, now it's time to pour this into my pie crust. Whoa, I think I may have uh, overfilled it. Wow, guys, <laughs> this pumpkin pie really is not coming out very perfectly, is it? And now, since I don't want my pie crust to be baked anymore, because I think it's already brown enough, I think it might brown up a little bit more, but definitely not gonna overbake this. We're gonna wanna tent our pie crust, like so. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Now we're just gonna pop it into the oven and we'll see how it comes out. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm off my game today as far as baking. I've made a lot of mistakes, but you know what? It's okay. The true test will be when we taste it tomorrow. All right guys, I just got back home. I just had a little workout in. Um, I also realized that I haven't shown you Gio or Mia in this vlog. Hi Mia. Gio. Hi Gio. It's gonna be Mia's first Thanksgiving with us tomorrow, obviously, because we've only had her for like a month. <laughs> but um, anyways, I wanted to unveil my pumpkin pie with you guys. I haven't even like taken off the foil yet. So let's do it together, shall we? Let's see. Perfect. All right, so I'm glad that my crust didn't uh, get any darker. I mean, it did get a little darker, which I think is normal, but it didn't burn. I don't think. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when we taste it. But other than that, looks pretty good. That's where my knife went in. Unfortunately, I had to make a little cut, but um, I'm really excited to try it. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters, right? The next day. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We're starting off our morning. Um, it's not even nine o'clock yet. We're starting off our morning. We're walking over to Dunkin' Donuts because the weather's really nice here in South Florida. As you guys can probably see, not a cloud in the sky. Okay, there's very tiny clouds. Okay, there's, 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 a, few, <laughs> there's a few clouds. <laughs> it's really beautiful though. Hey, look at my, um, someone, uh, his mom got me this. Yeah, my mom got him that cute mask. She got me one too, but had a different design. Anyways, we're walking over to Dunkin' Donuts to get a cup of holiday coffee. Last time, wait, we did go there and it was super sweet. So I think I'm just getting a regular coffee. This yeah, time. look at this guy. Look at what a beautiful, gorgeous day. All right, we have made it here to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm just waiting for John to go in and pick up our order. I ordered through the app, so he'll be able to just pick up the drinks and just walk out. There he is. That took uh, quite some time. Were they busy in there? Yeah, people, yeah. Yeah? Ooh, yum. Thank you. Look at this nice lake we have the view of. Wanna sit down right here or over there? Over there better. Over there's more sweeter. How is it? Is it as sweet as last time or sweeter? Or less sweet? I don't know, I feel like it's less sweet. It's still sweet. 
but less sweet. Okay, good. But I don't feel like I taste the, um, the peppermint. You don't taste the peppermint? I don't know. It's weird. That's but, like the most important part. I know. <laughs> this is nice. This is very holiday-ish. Yeah. Totally. The gingerbread uh, signature latte is very uh, holiday-y. Let's, let's see if I taste that after tasting this. Oh my god, you're right. This doesn't have a, that much of a peppermint taste. These drinks are not consistent, unfortunately. I didn't taste it at all. I remember the last one, we definitely tasted the peppermint. All right guys, we just got back home from Dunkin' Donuts. Now we're gonna make our cornbread. This is my first time using this recipe. I'm actually gonna put my cornbread here in this muffin tin. It's really a cupcake tin, but you can make muffins in it, right? It's a very quick recipe, so all we're gonna do, we're gonna make all of our dry ingredients. We got some flour, cornmeal, our sugar, salt, and baking powder. We're gonna mix that in really well, get it all incorporated. Next, we're gonna do our wet ingredients. So we have a stick of butter, we're gonna add our cream corn, and then our milk. Can't forget our eggs, too. All right, so I got my milk, my butter, my sugar, all my wet ingredients nicely mixed in, as you see right here. Now we're just gonna add it to my dry ingredients. Fairly simple. We probably don't want to over mix it. We probably just want to just mix it until fully incorporated. Look at that delicious looking batter. And then I have my cupcake tin here, muffin tin, whatever you want to call it. I've already preheated my oven, and now we're just gonna scoop it in with this ice cream scoop. So I have a little extra, but um, that's okay. We could probably make like one or two after this batch is done. I've made a mess, and now we're just gonna pop it into the oven for about, I think it's a half hour. I don't know, we'll find out. And there you have it guys, those are my cornbread muffins. We actually tasted one, and it was really good. Now John is making something, and he's making collard greens now, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make collard greens. He's starting to make his collard greens, he's got some jowl, and he's got some stuff, and he's, some he's making some stuff over here. He's making his own little concoction. Also guys, the next video after this one will be our Christmas decorating video. We're gonna transform our whole house into a Christmas Winterland. Winterland? Into a Christmas Wonderland. All right guys, next thing that I'm gonna make, my half sweet potato and my half russet potato mash potato. I make it every year and it's really good. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I gotta say about that. It actually is really good. It's like a sweet and savory mashed potato kind of, right? Yeah, it's not overly sweet at all. And it's higher in fiber and all the wonderful vitamins and minerals that come with a sweet potato. So now that we have strained the water from our potatoes, look at this mess that this has created. Anyways, we're gonna add a whole stick of butter. That's right, a whole stick, because it's Thanksgiving. So we're just gonna add all this here. We should probably put a little bit of cinnamon, a little salt, you know, probably some cream. Oh, you know what? I need to mash this. Durr. Okay, now I have my masher, and now it's time to mash away. And there you have it folks, there is my sweet and russet potato mash. I just added a little bit of cinnamon and some salt and now it is perfect. Oh and I also added cream, as you guys saw. And it tastes perfect. Now it's time for John to do his very special cranberry sauce, which he's just following the recipe on the bag. <laughs> I'm gonna add um, half a cup of water. I already have half a cup of apple cider. I'm gonna do less sugar because I don't like it super sweet. Uh, I'm gonna add brown sugar instead of white sugar and toss a cinnamon stick in. Pretty easy recipe. Just toss these guys in there. And one last thing I forgot to mention, um, uh, I'm gonna add in this little bit of Lazy River bourbon. Oh yeah, the yeah. bourbon we have left over from the pumpkin pie. Just for a nice little flavor. Um, yeah. It's not a lot, so um, shouldn't do too much. We'll show you the final outcome in a little while. So now that we've finished all of our sides, it's time to do the main event, which is the turkey breast. So we have our instant pot here. It's a recipe that I'm following. It's our first time trying uh, this way of cooking a turkey breast. So I'm just gonna add some butter. We're gonna put it on the saute setting. Put a little oil in there as well. So I'm just gonna melt down this butter and heat up this oil. And as soon as it's heated, we're gonna add our turkey breast and we're just gonna sear it on all sides. And then once that's done, we're gonna cook the turkey breast on high pressure for about 20 minutes. All right, time to add this turkey breast. Mmm, that actually smells really good. It's been marinating for like three days already. 
So our turkey, oh, sorry. Our turkey is seared. Now we're gonna set it to high pressure setting here on the Instant Pot. We put it in like this, right? Yes. And then now we're just gonna stick our turkey back into the Instant Pot, like so. What do you think, do you think that's like a four pound turkey or a five pound turkey? Looks like about a five pound turkey. All right, so, so the recipe says six minutes per pound. So six times five is 30 minutes. Although I'll probably put it at like 25 since you already seared it. 25 minutes? Yeah. All right, we'll do it for 25 minutes and then we'll check it. So we're taking a little break while the turkey cooks. Also, I wanted to point out that the flight attendant, the TV show came out today on HBO Max. So if you guys haven't watched it or even know about the show, um, you guys should check it out because we already watched episode one. And what did you think? It's really, actually I was, I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, we watched it on YouTube, right? Yeah, we watched it on YouTube. So you can find it there. Yes, yeah, so if you guys don't have HBO Max, you can definitely find episode one. It's on YouTube. So, you're welcome. Just FYI, it's true to exactly what happens, flight attendants, um, all the time. So if you see the movie, it, it happens to them all the time. No. Just, <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's so true. Uh, yeah, this, this show definitely <laughs> does not uh, represent what a true flight attendant <laughs> does, or how we, we really behave, or any of that. So don't take this TV show's interpretation of a flight attendant as true because it's not. <laughs> um, so yeah, check out the show. We're gonna we're gonna be watching it today. Uh, the next episode, we're gonna be doing a lot today. Once we finish cooking and eating and eating and taking a nap, we're gonna start um, taking away the fall stuff, which we really don't have much. And then we're gonna start decorating for Christmas. Like I said earlier, you guys will see that on the next vlog. And there we have it, guys. Here is our Thanksgiving meal. Our turkey came out pretty good. We haven't tasted it yet, but we cut it into little slices. There's our gravy. We have our cornbread, pumpkin pie, which you guys saw, cranberry sauce, sweet potato, and russet potato, and collard greens. And that's a lot of food for just the two of us. It is. <laughs> what else are you gonna do in a pandemic? Yeah. But enjoy. We'll have leftovers. Uh, definitely. And um, yeah, we're using... We're using paper plates, but they're pretty paper plates. We have enough stuff to wash in the dishes. Yeah, I know. We also opened a lovely bottle of wine that Stephanie gave to us a few weeks ago. And as is customary on Thanksgiving, we have to say what we're thankful for. So you go first. I am thankful for a bunch of things. I'm thankful that we have been COVID free. I'm thankful that despite the pandemic, we are still doing well. I'm thankful that my semester is almost over and this is, and I've gotten through it. I am thankful for having a wonderful partner who, you know, through all this difficulty, you know, we've gotten along really well together. And there's one more thing. And I am thankful for the new addition to our family, Mia. Ooh. Despite my reservations, she's warmed up my, my heart. What are you thankful for? Uh, okay, what am I thankful for? I'm thankful for number one, our health, the health of my family, your health. I'm thankful for this food. Of course, I'm thankful for our relationship. I'm thankful for our new doggy, and I'm thankful for Gio, that he's still around and healthy. And last but not least, I'm thankful for YouTube and my YouTube community and all of you guys, my subscribers, for following along in my life and being interested in my life and always commenting and being supportive and sweet and loving to us. That's what I'm grateful for. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. So, of course, we have to let you see um, our taste, our reaction to the turkey breast. So, like I said earlier, it's our first time cooking a turkey breast in the Instant Pot. So, we want to see how good it is. Because, you know, turkey is always tricky. It can come out dry, you never know. It's really good. Mm. It's flavorful, and it's not that dry. It's no. actually quite, quite moist. It's and good. This Thanksgiving meal was off chain. We did a really good job. Now it's time to cut this pie and see what it tastes like. All right, time to taste the pumpkin pie. So I made a lot of mistakes with this pie, but tell me how it tastes. Mmm, it's really good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's my first time trying this recipe. Very pumpkin. Is this um, preppy? Yeah, preppy. <laughs> preppy kitchen. It's really good, actually. Because I made a lot of mistakes with this uh, pie yesterday. But let's see how it tastes, shall we? Mmm. It's very good, actually. And the crust is not burnt at all. In fact, the crust has a really nice flavor. But yeah, the filling is very soft. I highly recommend making this um, recipe. Alrighty. Thanksgiving dinner is finally over. We're going to sit down, probably watch an episode of The Flight Attendant. And then we're gonna start our next video, which is gonna be our Christmas decoration. Wanna say hi? 
What is she doing over there? She's a little brat. Are you a little brat? Yes, you are. Anyways, I want to wish everyone a happy post Thanksgiving because like I said, this video will be coming out after Thanksgiving. I'm very grateful for everyone who supports us. If you are new here, please subscribe. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Leave us some comments. Let us know how you spent your Thanksgiving. She is being a brat right now. What's she She's doing? trying to get my wine. Mia is a drunk. She's trying to get his wine. <laughs> Anyways guys, thanks so much and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.